Uh, this is my last trip. Okay. <laughs> yes, I have about eight more weeks to go, and uh, after that, I'm, I'm done. I always tell my husband, I said, I, I tell him, I'm going to live in my bed. This is, this is, I've been pregnant since I started doing the reel. I feel yeah. like I've been pregnant forever and working, you know, pregnant forever. So I'm like, I just want to relax for a second and, and really give her, you know, the benefit of the doubt to have a calm mommy um, when she arrives. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Fun to have a calm. Yeah. I have some more questions. Um, what are your plans for Mother's Day? Mother's Day, actually, um, my husband just uh, spoke to me about this. We're going to have brunch with my mom. Um, and then Adam is going to take me somewhere um, for dinner. But every single morning, um, they always, I, I get to sleep in. And you know, mom sleeping in is like 8 o'clock. Um, <laughs> my son gets up like it's 6. Yeah. Um, so I'll be able to, to sleep in. And Aiden always has a fun little... Um, art like thing that he does whether you know it's his handprint or anything like that so and i always frame them so i'm really excited to see what he's done this year him and his dad <laughs> so i'm excited um where's one of your favorite places to travel with your family um well the coolest thing is is i actually live in one of my favorite places to travel i think that's kind of an oxymoron um but it's napa I love it because the air is just, I mean, it's, it's so different from Los Angeles. And um, I also just, I mean, it's, there's, there's so many areas where Aiden can just run around and just, you know, be free and, and be a kid. Um, the next place would have to be Hawaii mm -hmm. because Aiden loves the water. And, you know, you have, you know, the beach right in front of you. Mommy can just lay down, you know, on a chair, and you can see Daddy and you know my son like right in front of me, so I'm not like, freaking out, but I'm also relaxing at the same time. And then I can have like a mai tai. So it feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know you mentioned a few beauty tips. Have you ever learned any beauty tips from your mom? Um, absolutely. One of her uh, biggest beauty tips is drinking lots of water. A lot of people don't usually know that, but the more water you drink, it just cleans, it just cleanses your body. Um, and a lot of the times when you have all those um, toxins, the face is usually the first place that you see it. So she drinks tons of water. And also, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup when she doesn't have to. So when you don't have to wear a lot of makeup, don't, don't like uh, clog up your, your pores when you don't when you don't need to because over time it actually isn't really good for your skin. And I love makeup. I love you know everything about it. So if you do like to wear makeup, make sure you wash it off before you go to bed. <laughs> I have a girlfriend who doesn't who doesn't do that and, and she hates when I tell her not to. That's one of the worst worst things you can do for your skin. But drink lots of water. Where do you take inspiration from for all these different roles that you fill? Hmm, that's a very good question. Um, I have to say, my mom. Um, she's she's an amazing woman. Um, she came from really nothing, um, and she taught me that you can do anything, anything, if you put your mind to it. Um, and not only that, you have to hone your craft. You have to, if, if, you, if you really love doing something, make sure you get sound advice and um, helpful criticism. Because a lot of times people think that, you know, they can, they can sing when they really can't. Um, but my mom was one of those people who would be like, oh honey, oh no. <laughs> you can't sing, but if you want to sing, you need to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and make sure it is you are you are the best. But not only that, she wanted to make she wanted me to make sure that whatever I did, my motive was right. Like, why are you doing this? Why why do you want to be in, in you know an actress? Is it because you just want to be famous? Because if that's it, you're not going to last. You have to make sure that this is something you know that that you really that you really want to do. And you know she's I saw her multitasking. Um, 
she was a drill sergeant in the army and uh, I mean she she made grown men cry I saw it <laughs> um, so you know and then at home she would cook she always cooked for us um, you know she kept a, a, a clean house um, she, morals and, and, and values were always something that was that was you know true to her so I think I learned how to be this all-around woman because because of her and she's still doing it she's she's she's, she's a very strong strong woman any more nice tribute right before Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> and I would say it if, even if it weren't Mother's Day she is just she's she's an awesome she's an awesome woman anybody else I love to answer questions I don't know <laughs> Well, if there aren't more questions, um, I want to thank Tamara again. Thank She's so, so refreshing. Oh, it's no wonder the show is called The Real, because you're real and it's thank real. You. So we appreciate you being associated with Residence Inn. Thank, thank you. you for being here.